Hi, this is Leonie from Spines and Splines. I've got a lot of old wine corks floating around that I appear to be incapable of throwing away and I've wanted to do something useful with them for a long time. So today I'm going to show you how you can turn an old cork into a stamp. This is a pretty basic project that uses pretty basic tools. I've got my cutting mat, my utility knife with a very sharp blade and a sharpie and that's pretty much all you'll need for the carving part. I start by very carefully trimming off the end of my cork so that I have as smooth a surface as possible to work with. My corks are not the super compressed kind, so the impressions from my stamps will have some texture to them, which I'm totally cool with, but in order to give them the best chance, it's good to make the surface as level as possible. When I've finished trimming the surface, I take my marker and I draw the basic shape of what I want the stamp to be. I've found that it can be pretty difficult to make complex designs, so for now I'm sticking with basic shapes that I can cut away easily. I colour in the area around the design that I need to carve back and this helps me keep track of where I'm at in the process. When I'm ready to start carving, I take my utility knife and I cut lightly around the edges of the shape and then I carefully whittle away the cork that I want to get rid of. As always, when you're working with knives and sharp things, make sure you keep your non-dominant hand behind the knife and always cut away from yourself. A stamp made from a cork is just not worth injuring yourself over. Cutting away around the bottom edges of this heart shape was pretty easy but I still went slowly and I sort of edged in on the line rather than taking off a big chunk all at once because this just seemed to make the line a bit cleaner and a bit more natural looking. While I'm slowly carving away here, it seems like a good time to let you know that I've got a Patreon and you can go and support it. I've just started this Patreon properly this year in 2020, and I've got a bunch of goals there for both fun and practical things, like buying some professional lights to help with the production of these videos. And every contribution helps, no matter how small. If you get some value out of these videos and you want to give me the equivalent of a cup of coffee each month, that would be brilliant. I have a variety of reward levels set up, so head on over to Patreon and check them out. When I got to the top curves of the heart, my method of whittling away little bits stopped really working and in the end I had to trace the outline a bit more deeply and then cut into the side of the cork so that I could pull away the excess. When the main carving was all done, I went around everything again to make sure that all of the lines were smooth, and then it was time to try the stamp out. This stamp pad that I'm using is one that I've just made myself at home, and I've made that process into a separate video, so if you're interested in learning how to make your own stamp pad and ink with custom colours from just household materials, check out the link in the description. Thank you. 
As I suspected, the surface of this particular cork is a little janky and there's some texture in the middle of the heart that looks like it was caused probably by the corkscrew that we used to get it out of the bottle. I kind of like it though, and I think it's fun to try out different supplies and materials to enjoy their quirks. I've carved some other corks and they printed pretty smoothly so it's definitely possible to get a crisp impression if that's what you're after. And the cork material just has a really nice feel to it in general. The height of the cork also makes it really easy to hold and print with and you can draw the shape of your stamp on the other end with a marker to easily identify the different stamps in your collection. As always, please like, subscribe, share and leave a comment if you enjoyed this video. And all the materials that I used are listed in the description along with links to my Patreon page, my website, my Facebook page, Instagram and some affiliate links to a couple of good art stores where you can buy materials. Thanks for watching. Cheers.